Britain support Prince Harry attending the coronation, but the majority believe Meghan and Prince Andrew should not attend. Prince Harry is welcome to attend the King's coronation, but the British would rather Meghan and Prince Andrew not attend. According to a poll conducted by Mail Online, 47% of respondents supported Charles' decision to invite the Sussexes to the ceremony on May 6 while 36% opposed it. The Redfield and Wilton Strategies survey found that although the margin was narrow, 38% to 36%, they would like to see Harry at the event. Less well-received was his wife, with 43% of respondents suggesting she skipped the event compared to 33% who supported her attendance. Only 26% of respondents agreed with Andrews being there, while 41% disagreed, including 26% who had strong opinions. The fresh information follows last night's revelation that the Sussexes had yet another rating set back in the US this month when their standing reached an all-time low. Harry's and Meghan's net approval ratings had dropped 48 points and 40 points, respectively, since December of last year. A weekend of festivities, including a concert at Windsor Castle on May 7, are planned in conjunction with the May 6 coronation of the King and Queen Consort. According to reports, the Sussexes are debating whether or not to fly over. After the release of Harry's memoir Spare and the several TV interviews he gave to promote it, tensions have been at an all-time high. Friends of the couple feel that they won't make a decision until they receive a formal invitation at their California home. They continued by saying the duo is in limbo and debating the million different factors influencing their choice. Richard Fitzwilliams, a royal authority, claimed they might stay at home due to security concerns and a seismic collapse in popularity following the release of Harry's memoir. According to insiders close to the Duke, Harry wants to be by his father's side on very much the most significant day and intends to mend his poor relationship with the royal family. Even if Harry decides to go to the coronation, it's not yet known if his wife Meghan will join him. The big day coincides with the fourth birthday of the couple's son Archie, so it's possible that the Duchess skips it. According to the Redfield poll, 33% of respondents, including 17% strongly, favored Meghan attending. One-fifth were neutral, 24% were against it, and another 19% were very against it. Only 10% of respondents strongly agreed with Andrew attending the coronation, while another 16% agreed with it generally. 43% were opposed to the notion, while 28% were neutral. About the accusations he made in spare, Prince Harry earlier demanded an apology from his father, Prince Charles, and brother, Prince William. These accusations included one about an alleged incident in which Prince William allegedly insulted the Duchess before striking Prince Harry so hard he fell to the ground. At the time, the palace opted not to respond to these accusations. It was discovered last night that neither Prince William nor King Charles are prepared to offer any apologies before to the coronation, with just two weeks until invitations are sent out and 70 days until the big day itself. According to sources sympathetic to the royal's plight, the situation is a toxic impasse. One added, there is still a great deal of animosity within the family that is ready to explode. The 2,000 guests who have been invited to the condensed spring ceremony will receive save the date cards in two weeks. In order to streamline the celebration in the midst of the cost of living crisis, attendance has been considerably decreased from the 8,251 people who attended Queen Elizabeth II's 1953 coronation. Official invites will be sent three weeks before to the event to those who have responded that they will accept. Omid Scobie, a writer with intimate ties to the Sussexes, asserted this week that no one knows their plans right now because the couple has not yet received an invitation and is unable to make a decision or arrange their itinerary until that time.